Hey everybody, it's Calum and welcome back to more Psychonauts. In the last episode, we went through the agonizing torment of the game of war inside Fred Bonaparte's head. And now, we're going to be exploring another head. The head of the prisoner of art himself, Edgar. Hmm. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use of color. It's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful. Perfect. And sad. All day she cries rose petal tears. And I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something. And it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. God, are you all right? Poor little guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh. Maybe I can cover that up with a price tag or something. And welcome to Edgar's Mind, one of the most stylized areas in the entire game. Uh, which is also kind of cool considering what we get in Psychonauts 2. This is quite literally not far from it. Like. It's actually very cool how close this is, in retrospect. Anyway, let's talk to you. Hey, have you seen any really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. Man, I miss those dogs. Uh-huh. So the cards, you know where they are? Oh, right. Well, I do know about these four lost queens, but that's all. Can't do much with four queens, can you? Those are exactly the cards I need! Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here and turning your head just a teensy bit to the left. Where did you say those cards were again? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty... I think I hate that bull a lot. Oh, trust me. You'll hate him even more as time goes by. When he first trapped me at his alley, I thought he was only mildly annoying. What do you mean, trapped? Are you a prisoner of art just like Edgar? I'm a prisoner of that stupid bull. I don't want to get gored, so I hide out in the alley like a, like a low-down dog. Okay, promise me you won't take this the wrong way. But you are a dog. Yeah, but I'm a saint dog, man. I should be up in the highlands above the tree line. Take a brandy around my friggin' neck. Seeing the world and finding more things to paint than this junk. Which is all for sale, by the way. Hey, how'd you get out of this alley? We're trapped in here, son. 
Art is our only escape. Is that like a metaphor, or do you mean that if I take one of these paintings, I can use it to get out of here? If you take one of these paintings, I'll bite you on the leg. If you buy one, it could help you get out of here. They're magic. Okay. Well. All right. Uh, so these paintings cost arrowheads. They're very Enjoy cheap, though. Your new art there. You're like very unlikely um, to have the arrowheads for this. And we can hang paintings in any random assortment of locations. The rose painting will give us a rose, um, which we might be there. able to use later. However, this painting creates an alleyway for us. Now I can get Edgar's cards. Thematically and mechanically, this level's pretty freaking cool. But Elodio. Oh dear, Elodio dear. Elodio, as you can see, is frequently running by. And he makes this level nigh on unbearable. It's. It's a shame because. Uh. Um, I meant to do that. But it's a shame because this level, otherwise, is thematically amazing. This level is awesome and it's ruined by one mechanic. And it's only cumbersome when you. Hmm. It's only cumbersome when you go to complete, um, the level. Why can't I collect that figment? That's really bizarre. There we go. Um, but yeah, it's only cumbersome when you try to actually complete the level. Like, proper. Um, because El Odio just gets in the way, like, all the freaking time. You'll, look, you'll need a figment? Well, it's most likely running in and out of the alleyways that El, Odi El Odio patrols. So, you're more and more unlikely to get it, and also I just realized I'm being an idiot going this way. Uh, because this is the end of El Odio's rampage. But yeah, if you get caught at all in El Odio's way, you just get dropped off at the nearest um, available. Hold on, I, I'm losing track of all thought because I'm having to do different things. Uh, you get pushed out into the uh, nearest outcropping. Like, not this one because it's barred off, but the one previous because it's open. Alright, there's nothing in here. And I believe as long as you're above El Odio, you're also fine. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. But if you're anywhere like anywhere else, uh, you are going to be swept up by El Odio. Just a matter of time at that point. Uh, so balconies, kind of your friends. You can um, you can hide out in them while waiting for El, El, El Odio to uh, go by you. You can just go up in the what what uh, I don't know what happened there. If you want to game vertically, basically you can you can definitely camp out the um, the balconies. They very much help a lot. Unless they spit you out randomly that like they did earlier, but that's neither here nor there. All right, this takes us here, which has oh hmm, my apologies. Uh, my throat was really sore there. But yeah, um I can't remember where to go. That's another problem. And you can uh like wait in this little gateway here for Alodio to pass if you really have no other hiding spots. Uh, sensors. 
That wasn't too bad. What was that noise? That was so disturbing. I know it's some. There we go. I know it's the fake one there. That's all. And I don't believe this is the way into the. Yeah, this isn't the way into the area. Oh, that's a button. Okay. Uh, so if we use telekinesis to. Oh, the trash can doesn't go that far. Um, that's a problem. Because we kind of need that trash can to hit the button. Okay. We'll come back to it. Also, there is a card right over there, but I don't quite want to get that just yet. Okay. Oh! I see. Oh, we're able to just... Go around. Okay. Fair enough. Um... The next available outcropping is over here, which is fortunately where our, next, well, where our first card is. And if we want that card, we're going to have to go and follow it. Introducing, fresh from the Thrilla in Manila, Iowa, Tiger! Wake up, little man. Time to go nighty night. I am awake. Good, because it is bedtime for you, snake size. What are you talking about? You will fight me for my card, yes? Well, I am looking for some cards. Then, small fry, I am afraid the Sandman is going to have to bend way over to reach you because you are so awfully itty bitty. And then... All right, I get it. Just shut up and let's go. Then I will shut up, but only so I can enjoy the microscopic spectacle of your attempts to make me shut up. We have a boss fight. Uh, our side blast will not work. We, ow. We own. We can only damage him with melee abilities. Ow. I'm sorry I'm being like incredibly quiet here, but there's really not much to say other than when he pounces, you dodge out the way, and other times you just hit him, and you can just kind of stunlock him. Sleep tight, kitty. 
And every time you pick up a card, you can use the fighter's portals, uh, like the fighter's painting portals, to come back and talk to Edgar. So, progress is never lost in terms of um, you know, whereabouts in the level you were. It'll always spit you back out here, but you can just hop back in and, you know, get back to where you were and continue exploring from there. Okay, let's get the purse tag and give it to the purse. Just... I'm not going to have to hear that all that often anymore. Um, because there's four more in this level, and then there's only a level, well, one more level after this, so we're completely fine on that front. Uh, I believe there is a figment still running around here. I'm not sure, because we've got, yeah, there's two more figments. Pretty sure one is, like, flying around the place. And one is more in plain sight. Oh my goodness. Uh, more in plain sight than the other. If I could just remember where. <laughs> I don't think there's any near Edgar. I just want to clear up this area before I go because it's... um, It's fairly short and you... Come back here, obviously, every time you um, you get a card. But other than that, you have no reason to come back here because what else is in this area? I mean, nothing. Uh, that being said, don't know where the last figment is. I'm surprised to find. Oh, it is right here. There we go. Okay, we can go back and talk to Edgar. However, I do want to hop back into this tiger portal. So we can get back to where we were in the alleyway. Climbing up here, we find more figments and a place to swing across. We have to wait for El Odio to, ba uh, to pass by before we can start swinging again because those close over when El Odio passes. Uh, same with uh, these lanterns, so we just gotta wait and then... Uh, these pink ones, always solid. You can stay on those as long as you want. When El Odio passes, just run through. Deal with some sensors as we see fit. There's another portal over there, but not one I want to go to quite yet. Because there's an alleyway down here with another dog painter. And therefore more paintings to buy. Yeah, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. And today is the only day that it's going to be this cheap. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Could you tell me again about your dog friends? Ah, you've met my... But now... Hey, can you fight bulls? I have a bull problem. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about Elodio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. Who can do it? Who can fight Elodio? I speak of no other than Dingo Inflagrante, the infamous matador playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. 
What? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Tragedy, betrayal, art, love, pain. Nothing you want to know about. Come on, tell me. What's the big scandal? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But maybe if you had bought some art, then I'd have to come up with some small talk while we're making change and, you know. Gotta go. Be good. I'm a buyer. Hells before swine. <laughs> um, is there? What? There's not a place Nothing. around now here then, white you will yet. Of course, want something else. Try to handle it only by the edges. There we go. Okay, I bought some art. Now give me the dirt on Dingo. <laughs> okay. Here's how I heard it. Years ago, when Edgar was a world-renowned painter, he was commissioned by Dingo to immortalize him in black velvet. But while he was sitting for the portrait, Dingo met Edgar's beautiful wife, who was none other than the top flamenco dancer, Lampito Passionado. He seduced the dancer, and the two ran off together, leaving Edgar with the unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair. And since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Whoa, that's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah, good idea. I think that dingo sounds like a jerk. Ah, uh, he gets an unfair rap because of his looks. As a collie, I know how hard it is to be resented for your beauty. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe with a diamond kick-me sign on the back. Must be tough. Yeah, I work it out through my painting. Gotta go. All right. So... Oh, thank God. I felt like I was being looted. I paid for your art. Shut up. Okay, there's a figment up there, which I didn't think I was going to be able to get like that, but sure. And there's another card over there. I, do I want to go and grab that now? I guess I kind of have to go this way anyway. Let's get rid of those senses. I'm going to keep jumping in place here because I know there's a figment. Oh, I was in the figment! Okay, whatever. Uh, rose painting. Hang it up here, get another rose. And, uh, before going and putting another painting on there, I want to go over here so I'm safe for a second. Uh, we're not going to make it. Okay. We could probably make that, actually. Right, go. Go, 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 go. And then jump. You can dodge Elodia by jumping. I forgot to mention that. But you have to get good momentum to jump high enough. Alright, we're gonna change direction here. And we're gonna jump over, like so. We're gonna go up here. Uh, not there. There we go. So we can get up here in the place where we needed the other painting to go. Proving you don't actually need the guitar painting, because if you put the guitar painting down, it'll create like a ladder up because it's like the strings. It's kind of cool. Uh, but I believe there's something else we can do with another painting in that location. Because I'm. it's been a while since I've like played through this all the way. And I believe if you put the correct painting on, it will um, like keep it there permanently. You won't be able to take off the guitar painting, for instance. But there's something else you can do if you put another painting on it. Alright, let's lower the fire escape so we can get up and down here easier. Uh, 
Let's go on top of here because they gave us the option to bounce. Probably to get over here a lot easier. Without bumping your head. Uh, okay. Platform there. And we're going to want to go down into the sewer here. And for some reason, this isn't like spooky water. It's just water. And it's kind of like... I don't know, you could excuse it as like it's too shallow, but... The way the water is represented is kind of like... Well, at least the way the, the room is represented, it kind of looks like it's too... Um, it kind of looks like the room's shape would lend to this water being deeper than it is in parts. But apparently, same width all around. There we go. Uh, there's not another one in there. Come up just there. I'm starting to feel like I'm back in high school, which is weird because I'm only ten. <laughs> Very funny comment. Oh, we have we have bigger ones here. Whoa. I always forget that like targeting does allow you to like strafe it, which lets you move around faster, making for a much easier combat. There we go. Right, more figments over this way. Uh, there is a vault which has now been chased down the down the tube. Sorry, I heard sizzling and got a bit concerned. Let's open the vault. Edgar's lament. Lana and Edgar. It shows that these two have quite a history together. And it kind of implies something else. Maybe that the story isn't all it seems, which is just kind of the theme of this entire game, I guess. The story just isn't exactly what it seems on the surface. Get that cobweb. Um... Hmm. Let's press the button with the trash can. And collect two more figments. We can actually climb out the sewer here, which I'm gonna wait for a moment. No, this isn't um this isn't the part where our audio can run. Alright, grab more figments that are just lying around on the floor. And there is another painting slot here. If we were to hang up the guitar painting... We can use it where it wasn't originally intended, which is kind of cool. Also, what? Is that the sky? Oh, there is the skybox. Okay. Uh, we can see it also just... Yeah, kind of no purpose here. But we can take the painting down. Which now makes me think that you can take them down even if they're not... Or even if they are required for that area. Uh, who knows. Right, let's... That's not what I wanted to burn, but it worked nonetheless. There we go. And there's the duffel bag. My throat is killing me today, man. And here's the collie that we were talking to earlier. So it comes full circle. Right. Uh, we can now go back over there. But I also kind of don't want to. 
get rid of those sentences a second. Uh, if we go back this way, head down here, go back into the sewer. There we go. I believe there were other sewer exits that I kind of neglected. Or at least I feel that way. And even if not, we can take up uh, take the original sewer exit. Right, there we go. Uh, yeah, there is a there is another exit right here. Which also leads us to another artist. Again, it all comes full circle. It's really cool. Like, the layout of this place is awesome. The theming is awesome. Everything's really cool. It's just, I don't know. El Odio is just kind of a tedious mechanic to have to deal with sometimes. Let's talk to you. Edgar Tegley sent me. You know, the famous painter. How about a discount? Famous painter? Edgar? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't give discounts or you don't think he's famous. Look, I'm sorry, but eating lunch every day in the art teacher's room does not make you a famous painter. Anyway, you only did that to hide out from the school wrestling team. Hey, there's no shame in hiding from wrestlers. They're trouble, especially the wild animal type. Oh, what do you mean wild animals? Like dogs, eh? Oh, you got a problem with me now? No. I just meant wrestlers can be tough. I didn't mean you. Oh, you don't think I'm tough now? Why? Because I'm a Dalmatian? Hey, we can't all be St. Bernards and Bulldogs, you know. Has Edgar always had a problem with wrestlers? No way. In fact, he used to be the captain of his high school wrestling team. He took them all the way to the state semifinals one year, and then he... He choked. Cost the team the entire match. Why did he choke? Did they get him in one of those pile driver things? No. Edgar's girlfriend, Lana Panzoni, dumped him after the first period for Dean LeGrant, the head of her cheerleading squad. Techley was worthless after that. The other team just tossed him around the rest of the day like a half sack of pork rinds. Oh, man. His squad hated him after that. The whole school did. How sad. Especially since it all happened to him again with Dingo and Lampita. Oh, right. Yeah, they exist. Not made up at all, those two. Sheesh. Hey, I got some original Picassos over here if you're interested, by the way. See ya. Yeah. So the Dingo Lampita story... Well, maybe you can write it off on your taxes as a loss. ...was not loss. actually Dingo and Lampita. It was Dean and Lana. Edgar never, well, he's not a famous painter. He didn't lose his sweetheart to a matador. He just had a high school crush. Well, high school girlfriend. And lost her to someone else. It's one of the more relatable things. using his art as a as an escape and also kind of hiding the truth behind it let's get rid of those senses now here we have the option of putting various paintings on the guitar painting obviously not the one we need but we can put it on which allows us to get nowhere uh, the vine painting, which will also get us nowhere. But if we hang, hang the window pane here. That allows us to jump in and... Be transported elsewhere. Where we can get a maximum depth perception... Oh, depth perception? What? Uh, maximum depth increase. And a cobweb. Uh, and it also takes us to another area with another card. I'm going to hop back in there.
and take down the painting because I don't quite feel like that should or I don't feel like that's the only thing we can do with that painting in that location we got more figments here and a, a little bubble fast travel guy get rid of those I don't think there's anything else in these alleyways I could very, very much be wrong. Ah, uh, there's stuff up there. Hmm. Can we not stand on top of that? Huh. I was almost certain you could. Anyway, uh, if we go back this way, just to get back up on top of these little roof parts here and if we jump across this way there's another figment we can have access to another one here a quick travel point down there more figments strewn about Above, uh, how how are we looking for figments in this area? Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I thought this honestly, I'm actually having like a big turning point uh, for this level in particular. It's not as bad as I originally remember it being. Check out the cutscene of this card going in. Yeah, we're not gonna immediately go about fighting that wrestler yet. El Odio does go through here. I don't like how that just immediately drops us in. Because there is a figment that I want to get that's floating around here. There it is! I don't even care that I got healed by El... I got hit by El Odio there. And the funny thing is, I actually kind of wanted to come back here. Um, I wanted to come back here because, if I recall correctly... Wait, is there not... Is there another painting spot down here? Uh, turns out no. No, there is not. You told us about Dingo and Lampita. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's not. I just thought there might have been something where if you bring it up with him, he's like, "Oh, I didn't tell you that, did I?" I don't know. It's kind of cool. Anyway, vines. Put them there. They sprout vines. In that kind of shape. Don't quite need that right now. And the window pane painting. If we put it here, I believe it takes us to the same location or it takes us. Oh, wait. No, it takes us somewhere. Oh, it takes us in here. That's quite cool, actually. I'm sorry for the camera work there, but yeah, that's quite cool. Um. Uh, now there are other spots. Most notably... Oh, that was cool. Uh, okay, no, you can't actually remove the painting there. I thought you could for some reason. Do we have the schema trunk? Nope. We do not have the correct tag. Alright, down here I completely forgot to... There we go. I completely forgot to show that you can open this gate by just standing on the edge. You won't get hit by El Odio. And you will get the steamer trunk tag. Which means... Once El Odio goes through... There we go. We should be able to get the steamer trunk. 
Okie doke, back in Dalmatian Alley. Um, we have definitely, we've still, you know, definitely skipped over to uh, paintings, purposefully, mind you, but we've skipped over them nonetheless. There we go. Uh, avoiding the paintings until right at the very end. We can go up here. Uh, I don't think... Nope, no figments along that way. But definitely this way. Nothing that way. Oh, I saw one above me. When does it come through? Where did it go? Ah, oh, there it is. Hello, dude, it's about to hit me. Oh. Right, and now that we have the window pane down, we can go across to here. Which, if you couldn't tell by the figment placements and the figment types, is implied to be somebody very important and their house. Dingle and Elodio. We also learn that Dingo is not in fact called Dingo, but Dean. Yeah, this is Dean's house, or at least the representation of Dean's house within um, Edgar's mind. Tons of figments in here, and actually Cool, we're actually only, um... Uh, wait, I completely forgot to count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord, I'm very tired. 18 left. We have the hat box tag, and the hat box. Which, I've realised I've been calling the steamer box this whole, or the steamer trunk this whole time. That's just me being dumb. And we also have... The Matador. Uh, you must be the towel boy. You want an autograph? I don't just hand those out. And that's a good lesson for you. Anticipate disappointment. Take me. I'm the greatest bullfighter who's ever lived. Yet my upcoming match against the town bull has received virtually no marketing support. A towering advertisement was supposed to have been painted just outside my window. But as you can see, the job hasn't even been started. I think that bull is trampling anyone who tries to paint on the wall. Maybe you could stop it. Hmm. So instead of challenging the bull before a stadium packed with screaming women, you want me to fight it on the street in front of one dog and one child wearing a crude towel boy disguise. That's a terrible idea. Here's a better one. You go get that billboard painted and I'll reward you handsomely, which is how I do everything. As an advance, I'll give you one of my secret weapons. Use it if anyone gets stubborn. You can cloud the minds of others using the power of confusion. But if you use it too much, you will need to pick up more confusion grenades to energize the confusing aspect of your mind. This is the final, um, what's it called, Psy Power that we're able to get. And yeah, it's not really all that useful, I'll be honest. It is the one um, power that I just never use. It probably has more use than I'm giving it credit. Oh, I didn't know the... Oh, I didn't know the bubble thing had audio for when you hit it. That's kind of cute. I mean, that just kind of shows that I don't ever hit the thing. But yeah, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, confusion. 
not all that utilized, if I'm completely honest. Hey, uh, we really gotta get that billboard painted. Okay, man, here's the plan. Step one, I quit, we. Step two, we, which is now just you, runs out there and gets killed painting the billboard. Maybe I can distract the bull while you paint. It's so crazy, it just might work. Or maybe it's so crazy that it's just extra crazy. There's absolutely no way I'm going out there, man. Come on, you're a bulldog. Show some backbone. Plus, who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Stupid dog brain. All right, let's go. Great. When I say go, boy, get moving. Okay, so if we equip confusion here... Oops. I accidentally triggered a cutscene I didn't even want to trigger. Uh, but yeah, you can paint El Odio. Oh, uh, paint El Odio? You can confuse El Odio. I'm gonna throw another one just to keep him confused. This seems to be its main use. Because outside... Mm, it's not great, but I suppose it's just barely good enough. Come see me if you still want your reward. You know, your advice didn't work. Really? Then here's some new advice. I don't know what you're talking about. How about that reward? Fine then. One autograph. You know, my bulldog Frank could still paint a beer gut on that poster out there. All right, here, take this. But I warn you, I won't be able to sign it. That's a fun little thing. Maximum health increase. Kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, all I was saying is Confusion Grenade, other than this instance, it's not the most useful. Like, yeah, you can essentially paralyze uh, the bull. But other than that, it's just... Just a means to an end at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Uh, we're going to use that to... Never mind, no, we're not, because that is the end of the road. I think it turned out pretty well. On the other hand, I'm colorblind. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And yes, the return of the colorblind artist. I'm a bulldog? Anyway. How many figments do we have left? Hmm. Fifteen. I don't know. I, I, I actually don't know where they even could be. And also, when you confuse El Odio, you can get a good look at his face, and it kind of shows that he's he looks very similar to uh, the Matador, which is very much implying that the Matador is Dean. Oh no, the Matador is the bull, sorry. Well, like, Dean is the bull, I mean. And the bull constantly being... Edgar's problem. Yeah. Ah! Aha! Aha! That's pretty sneaky. I think what's implied you need to do to get around to where that cobweb is, is go up there and then around this way. I don't know if it's around this way. Like, here, this way. I think it is, you know. Okay. No. There's just no way we can uh, feasibly get around in that situation. Oh. Ah, that's clever. Okay, it's just an extra little hiding spot. Not all that clever at the end of the day. You should really go out there and stop that bull. 
Elodio and I will fight someday in the ring, and he will die. So in the Matador's house, there's actually this little back entrance, which I completely didn't notice. It's um, by the fire, and it actually takes you out to where we were trying to get to. So that's at least all the mental cobwebs taken care of. Oh, crud. Alright, now that we're back here, I'm not going to jump early. I'm just going to go and grab the last bit of emotional baggage here. <laughs> Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to wrap this confusion gr grenade ammo up. Now I'm just now at a loss for uh, where to find the last figments. Though we do have primal memories that we can look at. Completely forgot. So we've got our work of Crispin, which I guess is fine to be put here considering he just doesn't have his own level. More art of Edgar. A dog. Uh, which one is that? Is that the Dalmatian? I think it is. Hmm. That works pretty cool too. Uh, Black Velvet Fountain of Paint. Kind of cool of a concept. Some more cons. Uh, uh, the the environmental art, lucha libre, flamenco dancer, four of six. Okay, fair enough. Nice, good primal memories there. Um, I guess the only thing I really need to be doing is the cards. Which is kind of annoying, I wish there was more than I could be doing, other than the cards, but, eh, it's what it is. Though the figments are still in this location. Like, this is the locate. well, not this exact location I'm stood in, but... The idea of the location being, like, you know... Uh, the streets where Elodio roams. That's where everything is. Right, this took me by the collie. Is there anything up there that I can get to? No. And again, I'm not finding. Oh! Oh! I didn't see this! Okay, so first of all, uh, I know it's not going to be the, uh, the pain painting. Uh, but that's going to lead to something. Yep, some figments. Or one figment. Mm, better than nothing. And then... Uh, let's use guitar. Just because I know this isn't the place for guitar. But I'm sure it will lead to something. Uh, incorrect. Incorrect. Wait, I feel like I've already used good. Oh, I've definitely been here before. I'm just being an idiot and I completely forgot about this place. Anyway. This is where we're meant to use vines. And it's actually the only place with practical use for it. Ah. Here we go. I almost didn't make that. Oh, it's this area. Oh, I love this area. Anyway. Vault. Edgar's love. Just further driving home the fact that there was a high school love. Not this amazing 
world renowned flamenco dancer. And there's amazing world renowned artists. Or world renowned matador, either. Just two kids in love. Hey, I just think it's great that you took that ass kicking I handed to you and turned that defeat into something positive. Like gardening. Can I give you a rose, I wonder? No. Only because it, uh, he's in the garden up here. Oh. Okay. All the figments collected. I didn't want to pick up the rose. All the figments collected. All the baggage. All the cobwebs. All the vaults. Finally, we can get around to fighting all of the... Um... I don't want to think. Well, all the luchadors. And I'm going to start by running across the road. Introducing! Fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings, Dragon! Smell. That smells like fear, boy! Yeah, no, I mean that fart smell. That's fear! No, I'm talking about an actual smell. It's like if stink bombs laid eggs and then those went bad. That's sulfur! Uh, it's part of the dragon costume, kid. Also, I don't know if you'd noticed, but Raz's costume is slightly changing uh, throughout... Oh, hello. It's slightly changing throughout the level depending on where he is. Also, uh, confusion grenades can be used against the luchadors. Kind of just allows you to skip through some phases if you really want to. But not many. Uh, wait, but, but not many. It allows you to skip through all the phases. But it's not really... Yeah. Soon they'll be dragging your ass out of here. <laughs> hey, are you late? Did you hear that? smell that guy. Also, let's quickly just talk to Edgar. I got some cards for you, Edgar. Ah, that is exactly the card I need. This one was a real pain in the butt to get. Perfect. One step closer to her. I must have those queens. All right. Let's just hop back through the paintings and go find the last two. And you know what? Just to clear up my inventory. Next car is located here. Introducing, back from a crushing victory at someone might lose a tooth in Duluth, Eagle! Kaka! That's it? Kaka! Kaka! Ka <laughs> 
I will never get over the way this game uses voice acting and writing to just convey a humorous message. Uh, so the gimmick with Eagle, he'll jump up in the air. I'm trying to show as much, um, as much of these Luchador's movesets as possible, but at the end of the day, they have roughly the same moveset, except tailored to their uh, personas. So Tiger will pounce, uh, Eagle will um, flap his wings, fly up in the air, Dragon uh, would breathe out like a fiery kind of thing that would, you know, that kind of stuff. And returning back to where the eagle painting was. We know that if we head up here and then... And then head this way. We can use our window pane painting. One, to clear up our inventory, and also two, to travel forward in the level. And end up right across the street from the final card. The Queen of Spades. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! Edgar, nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, wimp. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look, I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. You're an idiot, Smegley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously, I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. I was not expecting to hear Smegly as an insult, or like Smeg being used as an insult. Oh, that's weird. Anyway, uh, Confusion actually needing to be used again, which is really freaking cool. Like, it's actually needing to be used. It's getting way more used than I thought it ever did, which is, you know, I I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Get him to walk towards the confusion cloud. Never mind, it ran out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not expecting that. Okay. And let's just... I didn't realize he got wiped out. Uh, he went out of confusion there. And it was some confusion grenades. And there we go. I beat you just like I did in high school, loser. Wait, who am I?
And with the last card. What? Can we confuse. Okay. Never mind. With the last card, we can climb up the tower. And give Edgar. The Queen of Spades. Here you go, Edgar. The last card. Thank you. You said you would get them, and you did. Not everyone is as true to their word, you know. Well, now you can finish your tower. Yes. Now this can all end once and for all. Wow. It looks like you can walk right up there now, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar? Someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? El Odio. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Edgar? I was wrong, it wasn't Dean that's El Odio, it is in fact Edgar. Edgar is his own bull. Anyway, I'm gonna want to throw a confusion grenade immediately. Ow. Uh, I'm also, I believe, going to warm uh, telekinesis. Yeah. So you're gonna want telekinesis to throw these darts at. El Odioker. I tried. El Odio is a fierce, magical creature. It can only be harmed by the traditional bullfighting methods. Really? That didn't hit him. I tried dodging. Cut that. You know what? <laughs> Why did that just drop? <laughs> sure. in the wall. That that is technically the wall. Come on. Come on, Edgar. Yeah, I knew there was a twist to the um, to El Odio being somebody from Edgar's life. Didn't realize it was Edgar himself. I completely Where forgot that twist. Am I? Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen. There is no El Odio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um. What's up with the junior? Yeah, we were full on varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! o. Give me a B. They B. stole Give me my a happiness! Give me an L. My life! Give me an the o. state semi-finals! Everything! No! Wait! Edgar! Okay. <laughs> he never learns. Oh no! I can't believe I stuck four of those barbed poles in his back. They're called banderillas. 
I gotta get those out of there and protect Edgar. If something happens to him while I'm in his mind, I'll get the boot. Okay, so what I think we might have to do here is throw a confusion grenade out just to freeze him. No? Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. What if I throw a confusion grenade at him? No? Um. Okay. Do we just have to shoot uh, Matador? Can't get a good grip. No. I can't confusion grenade him either. Oh. Can I get those out of Edgar? Oh, I can. Can't get a good grip. Oh, I just Ooh. Oops a doodle. Oh, I think I have to wait. Okay, yeah, I have to wait for Edgar to charge at the Matador. Wait for him to be distracted, maybe? Hi. Why is he- why is he spawning on me? Oh, I just... Good. Good. I do not know what to do here. I'll be perfectly honest. I gotta be getting him when he's like in the middle of showboating, surely. Come on. Edgar, help me! <laughs> I'm so confused. Let's start that one again. Oh, I have to do the Edgar phase again. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so... Now that we... Oh, we don't have ammo. How do we go about getting ammo? Fierce, magical creature. He can only be harmed by the traditional bullfighting weapon. Can't get a good... Can't get a good threat. Can't get a good grip. Can we get confusion grenades off of magical creature? He can only be harmed by the traditional bullfight. Can we get them from the roses? We can get them from the roses. Okay. I have a feeling we need to be using confusion grenades more often. Like here, for instance. Yeah, there we go. I am 
the mighty El Odio. I have all the power of the bull. Hmm. And all the weaknesses of them. There we go. Look out! Here comes El Odio. Ow! Then we have Elodio's to hit him hit. with the whatever they're called, bar barbaridas. That was probably an awful pronunciation. I'm so sorry to anybody. Elodio doesn't like that. Look out! Ow! Right in Elodio's butt. <laughs> Look out! Here comes El Odio! Ow! El Odio and there we go. is dying. <laughs> it's alright. It's okay. We'll win the game some other day. Ah, <laughs> uh, please. Edgar, look at them. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. Um, uh, uh, I always loved you more? Deliver this to my Patronras. You may also hand him my farewell, for I am checking myself out of here. You have unchained my mind, young friend. So before I go, I'd like to show my gratitude by painting you a real work of art. No bull? <laughs> you make light of my mental problems, and still, I have no rage. Amazing! And the real art that he paints is... Dogs playing poker. It's a nice little reference. But yeah, now we have all of the pieces we need to trick Crispin into letting us upstairs. Greetings, Dr. Laporta. Good to see your face. I see you're wearing your favorite jacket. If I may say so, your claw is looking especially menacing today. Up to the secret laboratory then, is it? Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate oh, Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... you're... Armed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here I am, up in the tower of an abandoned insane asylum, wearing a straitjacket, talking to myself. Okay, enough with the disguise. The things I do for Lily's brain. Well, if I'm gonna get to the top of this thing, I'd better start hiking. Alrighty. And we're now inside the upper floors. of the asylum in which we can find one challenge marker 16 cards nine brains and yeah there's a lot to do and we're gonna do it all next time so next time on psychonauts we're gonna be pressing on further ahead through the insane asylum and hopefully finding lily in the process see you guys then <laughs>